Nobody likes to talk about uh, poverty. It's the single biggest problem facing our planet. Uh, normally we think of poverty as not enough money or not enough food or inadequate housing or unsafe water. Uh, those are all uh, bits of poverty, but none of them are really poverty. Poverty at its very core is what all of those things do to the heart of, of even a little child. Uh, when, you, when you get caught in the vicious cycle of you don't have education, so you don't have the ability to, to get jobs, which means you can't pay for housing, which means you can't pay for medical care, uh, you get caught in this downward spiral. Wonderful organizations help to eliminate various parts of poverty, but at the very core of poverty is this message. It's very much about a personal message that is give up. Nobody, nobody cares. Poverty is a little like having a really bad fruit tree in your, bad, in your backyard that puts out really bitter, awful fruit. And, and it's good, I suppose, to pick bad fruit off of that tree. But sooner or later, after a few years, you ask, no, what's the root of this? Why does this keep happening? And so that's what I'm talking about, is at the root of it is this overwhelming message that the poor get that says, I don't matter, nobody cares, nothing can ever change. It goes from hopelessness to really despair. And it goes from despair to fatalism. And ultimately, uh, they give up. What's needed in the midst of it all is someone who speaks into the heart. And for those of us who are Christians, one of the most powerful things that can be done is to help a child in poverty know that God knows their name. God knows them, loves them, cares about them, and they can entrust their lives uh, into the hands of, a, of, a, of their Heavenly Father. So poverty, while it's very complex, is also still very personal. And the best way to attack it is at the personal level. That's why we do what we do at Compassion. Mm -hmm.